story is that I wasn't planning on filming this video right now and I was I was getting ready for bed washing my face doing all of that my everything everything was on track and then I was just like why don't I just film this video so then I was like yeah why don't I film this video I just didn't prepare for it because I was all over the place and that's okay like sometimes so if you're new here I have been trying to do a monthly videos kind of like talking about what God is showing me what I'm learning and kind of recap lessons um, and just be real and authentic because obviously in social media it's super easy to just see all the good and all the like happy moments but like talking about what we're learning and lessons and God's goodness through moments and through chaos is so powerful. I hope that this just serves you in the way that God intended it to. This is going to be minimal editing, very chill, grab a drink, like we're just going to sit down and talk. I wasn't planning on filming this video this month so I don't have the little videos but I do have a couple of pictures. People here. Like <laughs> um, and this month was really good. It was just really chill. I just took a break a little bit and just let life happen. I would call January my motive check. My motive check. Okay. Because I felt like in December especially when things got super, super busy, I was all over the place and I was just in this mindset of just do 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 like do things go one moment to the next one thing to the next i was just like very in a chaotic mindset okay and i was just feeling really burnt out and i was feeling like what am i doing why am i doing what i'm doing because the bible is super clear that we are not supposed to do things out of selfish ambition um and we also are not supposed to labor in vain and like god looks at your heart and so i thought that like i just felt it really strongly like take a break like it is time for a motive check it is time to step back and think why are you doing what you do why like what are the reasons what what is driving you what is waking you up in the morning um and so that type of thing is definitely super hard to like take a step back and really reflect and just kind of analyze like well, what are you doing and why we just i think i'm making my tea wrong Wow, guys, I feel so cozy with you. <laughs> God doesn't love me more if I complete my to-do list, if I post a video, if I do a one-on-one -on -one Bible study, and he won't love me any less if I don't. This is a different type of love. Unconditional, wondrous, precious, special. And I feel like it's hard when, like, we live in a world where so much of, like, imperfect love and it's a lot of selfishly driven love and there's so much broken love that we can so easily like point to and so like for there to be that type of love in our lives it's like wow like and i feel like i was doing so many things after i was trying to reflect and like praying um i was doing so many things to try to like make god love me more or, like try to get god to be proud of me when he loves me the same and like that fuels me to continue doing things for god like i am doing things out of a place of love and fullness and that allows me to do my work with a different type of energy and a different type of zeal so that 
is just something that I've been trying to repeat to myself and it was actually um do I have the book here I don't I read Zeal Without Burnout which was so good it's like a 130 page book very quick easy very um applicable very good so that definitely impacted like a lot of my lessons and a lot of things because burnout was, is such a thing and another thing that i think i learned this month was you need people you need people and i think that i was trying to push people away a lot um or like trying to like i would just view people as burdens like honestly in general i think you need good community that will encourage you and you need to give them time to encourage you i don't even know what this is from but this just like popped into my brain um if the joy of the lord is our strength which you can look um at isaiah 40 41 42 somewhere in there um then why wouldn't the enemy come for our joy and try to make us depressed or weigh us down with heaviness and when I, when that clicked in me it's like okay what like what like like the joy of the lord is our strength so that's crazy okay another thing i've been doing is trying to really remind myself who i am and who god says that i am like who i am in christ because i don't have to respond to situations in fear you need to remember who gave you the authority you need to remember whose child you are um and so i've been listening to the sermon by priscilla shire um, or like a three minute clip from a sermon titled who's your daddy and it talks she's just so good and um, I, I try to listen to it every morning um, just reminding myself who God is and what that means for me so that's been something and like you need to go listen to that every day and that's something huge we have the armor of God, right? We have the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth, the shoes of readiness given by the gospel, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit. So we have those things. And like for me, it was like knowing that you have that and you need to put it on is one thing. And then actually putting it on is another thing. And like being super intentional with like okay thank you god for this day good morning like good morning world thank you for this day god and like now it's time to put on my armor like putting it on there is freedom from bitterness and there is power in loving people despite bitterness and when you do that fruit comes but there was some things that happened this month that like you can really get bitter and it's super easy but there's so much power when you just when you just like ex and this is something i've been working on like accepting god's love and like and knowing that you don't have to be bitter but you don't have to and there's freedom and bitterness that's basically i repeated it five times last thing i want to say that i've learned and like my dad especially was talking about and like i've just been around like a lot of business people recently is that success is an attitude i've been trying to implement that mindset like success is an attitude that's simply what it is and like you can you like i need to give things my all even like i don't have to expect i don't have to be a perfectionist because we can't always predict the outcome of things or like a test, but I can study perfectly. I can study as much as I can. I can put in 100% in my studying. And if the test yields different results, then I try my best. Like it's not perfection in like the outcome. It's 
perfection or effort or diligence, which is my word of the year, um, and like determination. I forgot to mention Psalm 51. This has been my psalm for the month and like I've just been like returning to this psalm almost every single day. Just like it's so good. I do want to point out the verse that like really has been with me and it's this one create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me um and so it's just like the willing spirit and it's so nice to like that we can like pray that you know it's like god i don't know what i'm doing anymore can you just renew a right spirit in me renew like that i'm doing this all for your glory like how beautiful is that I'm gonna go to sleep. Have an amazing day or night or morning, wherever you are. God bless. Bye. I'm so tired. Good night.